to an all new episode of Neptune Gaming. Today we're going to be covering Radiation Rumble. The do's and don'ts, the rewards, the XP buffs, and how to heal scavengers. Now, when you start off this event, there's always a stash box at the beginning. That is the best time to get out all your XP buffs that you're going to need to take down put you into the area. Now, I would wait until everybody gets here a few minutes before you even think about starting the event. You're going to want more people to help you at least keep one scavenger alive. That's all you need. One scavenger. Anything over that is just extra. Now, the best thing to do is just get a test level. The quad Tesla works the best, holds the most ammo. You can go and you can stock up on fusion cells, keep them in your ammo box, and then to always try to keep a few thousand on you. Now, on the left side and then the right side. The left side, you're going to want to hit with your Tesla. The right side, you're going to want to hit with your Tesla also. Keep an eye on the middle. Keep an eye on at least one of the guys down in the scavengers. Now, for your experience buffs, you're going to want to go into your pit boy and you're going to want to either eat a canned meat stew or a tasty squirrel if you're carnivore. Um, if you're a herbivore, you can look up the stuff for herbivore, but I do carnivore. Now, a liter bobblehead, a live and love eight magazine, or a backwoodsman six. Backwoodsman six way better gives you more more of a buff for your meats and then you're gonna need your lunch boxes now you can wait like I said until everybody gets here and go ahead and then start pumping lunch boxes out and hopefully people will help if not just always try to keep up on your lunch boxes that way you don't have to depend on people very meant tats is also another you're gonna want to keep on you at all times Boosts your intelligence, helps you get more experience in the long run with the intelligence being higher. Also, Scorch Beast Burrowed Brain. The Burrowed Brain will give you a lot more intelligence as well. So you're going to want to keep, just keep them in your cryo freezer and they'll be all right from there. You're going to also want to make sure before you come to this event that you're well rested. You're going to either want to go back to your camp or pop a tent, get rested, then make your way back down to this event, or keep yourself rested before events. Now, if you see everybody staying in the middle, that's what you're going to want to do. You don't want to go down on that edge down there like this one guy is, just kill everything yourself. You don't need to do that. Just get a test file, stay in the middle, and everybody can share their experience. There's no point to be selfish. There's enough for everybody. Now, for completing this event, you can get either the Radiation Barrel or the Emmy Mountain Disposal Hazmat Suit. They're both rare drops. They're not worth as much anymore since the new update, but they're still they're pretty nice to have. The Brad Barrel sells okay in the vendor, and the Emmy Mountain Hazmat Suit doesn't look too bad, honestly. But after the event, you're going to want to go, and you're going to want to loot everything, Make your way to the workbench, scrap everything, and if you can fast travel, fast travel out. If not, maybe you'll have a scrap box, you can send everything to your scrap box. Or just go outside, throw a tent down, find a tent, or make your way down to White Spring Station if you have to. But hopefully you won't have to do all that, but we'll just drop the loot that you have, and then keep going. They've made this event fairly easy. As long as you have a few people, you should be able to complete it. You're going to want a guy going down and collecting ore. It's going to need to be in power armor or a hazmat suit. Can't go down there without it. The rads are way too high for that. Now, collecting the ore, there's different tiers for how much ore you collect. It goes up to four tiers. The more ore you collect, the higher the tiers. The higher the tiers, the higher the adverse will be. You can get death claws, snolly gasters, Floaters, things like that. Even cave crickets will come out. But you gotta have somebody collect the ore and turn it in. If not, 
you won't complete the event without it being at least a tier one for the rewards. I also forgot to mention, if your scavengers are getting down very low health, when you have a flamer on you, you can go into your perk cards and in charisma, you can attach the card friendly fire. With a flamer, you can heal the scavengers with the friendly fire perk card to quit. I should also mention Curator. Curator will make your bobbleheads and your magazines last two times longer. So they'll go from 30 minutes to an hour. Well guys, I think that's it. We covered them in the basics. And I guess I will catch you all next time. This has been Neptune's Gaming. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.